Here's how to verify your Mastodon account with a PGP key. First thing you need is a PGP key, so you have to generate, you might have to generate one. If you already have one, you don't have to go through this step, but if you don't have one, you do need to create one. So I'm using the gpg2 command dash dash full dash generate dash key. I'm going to go with the defaults. Uh, it wants me to tell it a size, so I think I'll just go big, 4096. I won't have this, actually I will have this key expire. I'm going to have this key expire in one day. You wouldn't want to do that. All right, now I'm going to put my name in and I'm going to put an email address in. Because this is just for demonstration, I am going to just grab a temporary email address. Again, you wouldn't want to do this in real life because that's not what you're probably meaning to do. But that's what I'm doing. Oh, I put it in the wrong field. That's silly. Uh, actually, I'm going to stop that. Do that again. 4096. It'll be valid for a day. Is that correct? Yes. Real name. Oh, okay. Email address. There we go. Comments. Doesn't really need one. And that's okay. So now it wants a password, so I'm just going to put in a fake password. Again, you wouldn't want to do that. You would want to make yours useful. It's asking me to move my mouse around to create some entropy. Uh, I'm on a pretty fast system, so it doesn't take long. Okay, so that was generating a PGP key. This long string right here, that's my fingerprint. That's the fingerprint of, rather, the key. I'm going to need this in the future, so I'm going to copy it, and I think I'll just put it into a into a document here just to have it handy. I can get it easily later, and I will show you how to do that. It's just useful to have this handy, trust me. You're going to use it a lot uh, during this process. Okay, so I've got a key. Now I need to add some kind of metadata called a notation such that key oxide recognizes what I'm claiming, my identity that I'm, I'm asserting that I am. So for this, I'm going to, well, first I'll show you how to, um, it's not show, it's list gpg2 dash dash list dash secret dash keys that lists the keys that you have created on this test system i've only created one key so it's just it's listing the thing that i just created in front of you this is that fingerprint that i was mentioning so if you forget the fingerprint it's right there it's gpg2 dash dash list dash secret dash keys so that's how you can get that information for now, what I really want to do is do an edit key, and then I'm going to paste in the fingerprint that I just copied. So it searches through my key ring, and it finds this key. That looks like the correct key. It's the one that I just created with this fake email address and my name. So that's good. The first thing I'm going to do is set this user as the primary user. You may not have to do this because if you actually only have one user on your key, it, it should be presumed to be, it doesn't hurt to do this, so I guess I should just say do this anyway. So I've selected this UID, this user ID, with UID space one. I chose one because that's the number that it gave it. You see now that it has an asterisk by the one which designates this as the primary user, or as the selected user, sorry. And now I am calling it primary. It's asking me to confirm my password because I'm making a pretty major change there. And now, whether, it, whether we know it or not, this, this user, user number one, has been declared as the primary user of this key. Key Oxide wants to see that, so it's important, I think, to do it. Next, we'll add our claim. 
the claim is added as metadata in a format called notation. The notation has to be proof at ariadna.id equals. So that's proof at ariadna, A R I A D N E dot ID equals. And then you want to do your your uh, Mastodon profile page. Techhub.social at CETX is mine. That's the profile page for the Mastodon entity that I'm going to claim I'm the owner of. So you don't put your handle in, notice. Don't don't grab this. That's your handle. That's that's the, that's the same data, but it's rearranged. You want to grab the URL to this, your profile page. So that's proof at ariadna.id equals, and then the link, uh, a link to your profile page. Hit return, and now that data is there. How do we know it's there? Well, you can confirm that you've got your notation added to your key by executing show pref, S-H-O-W-P-R-E-F. And there you go, you see that the notation has been added. Hasn't been saved yet though, so I'm gonna type in save. That's gonna save the changes to my key and then kick me out of the GPG interface, which is fine, I didn't need that anyway anymore. Okay, so that's your key, it's set up. Your cryptographic key is all set up now and you can export it. To export a GPG key, you do a GPG2 space dash dash armor uh, space dash dash export, and then oops, that's no longer what I thought it was. Okay, so like I said, you're gonna need that, that fingerprint very, very often, and that's why I like to just keep it handy. So there's the fingerprint. So now I'll paste that in, there we go. And then I'm gonna redirect that output to uh, key.asc. There's my key. So this key is the public part of my key. It's not the secret part, it's just the public part. There's no real easy way to tell that from this command, you just have to kind of believe that GPG doesn't allow you to export the private, the secret part of your key this way. This is just your public portion of the key with the notation and the primary user set, all that metadata that we set. All right, so next step is to add this to um, a site called openpgp.org. And actually, specifically, it's keys.openpgp.org. This is where you add your key to a key server. Now, again, this is just your public key that you're adding. So I'm going to click Upload. Oh, wait, I forgot. I'm in the wrong system now. All right. I need to do that here. Okay, keys.openpgp.org. There we go. Okay, I'm going to click Upload. Browse my system. It should be in my home directory. There it is, keyasc. It's a tiny file, so it doesn't take long. I'll upload that. It confirms that I've uploaded it. It, it gives me the, the fingerprint again. And now it's noticed that I've got an email hooked up to this to this account. So it's offering to send me a verification email, which is exactly what I want, actually. So I probably need to renew this because it's about running out. There we go. All right, so it should be sending an email eventually. Oh, there it is, actually. Okay, there's the confirmation email. And click on the confirmation link so that 
keys.openpgp acknowledges that this fingerprint that claims to have access to this email address does indeed have access to that email address. Okay, so we're good to go there. Now, why did I close that? Okay, so I'm gonna need the uh, key fingerprint again. I'll go back to Firefox real quick. And then I will go to Mastodon. Actually, I don't have to do that there. I'm already here. I'm gonna go to my Mastodon account, edit profile, go down here and I could just call this anything I want to really. I'll call it verification. And then the web address for key oxide is keyoxide.org slash HKP. And then I think I should have the correct fingerprint in here. Is this the correct one? Yes, it is, I think. Let's look. Yes, okay, that's the correct one, cool. All right, so I'm just pasting in the link to the key oxide uh, server, keyoxide.org slash HKP, and then slash, and then I paste in the fingerprint the, of the key that I created. Save changes, go back to Mastodon, and there's my verification with a green check mark. Cryptographically signed digitally. This signature isn't worth any more than any other web address right now, but PGP is a really robust system. I could take this digital file, this key file, around with me to conferences and conventions and get people, other people with digital keys to sign my key and I could sign their key, proving to one another and to the rest of the world because the rest of the world can look at the record of what this key has, has, has experienced proving that other people have met me in real life and can confirm that I have ownership of this key. That's the strength of, of PGP. Now, as you can see, this is a hyperlink, so I can click on it here, and it takes me to Key Oxide. It identifies who, who, who I am, so that, that's confirmation that, yep, that's, that's my name, um, that's the fingerprint, and here's all the data that I've claimed is, is, is something that I have ownership of. And I could add more things here too. It, do, it doesn't only have to be Mastodon. It could be other websites that I have uh, accounts on. I can link them back here. And as long as, as Key Oxide can parse in an, an a proof at ariadna.id entity that, that I have ownership of that thing and have and have recorded it in my in my PGP key, then it can confirm that that, that checks out. And like I say, this this none of this is really all that great until you start going around to places and getting other people to verify your identity to meet you in person, sign your digital key with their digital key, and and you start building this sort of web of trust such that, yeah, sure, someone clicking on this doesn't know whether you are anyone significant if you're the same person on, that they heard on YouTube or not. But if I have three other YouTubers sign this key, then suddenly that becomes further proof or further evidence that, yes, I am that person. I'm the same person. I don't know. Hopefully that helped. Thanks for watching.